going on, everybody? It's Josh Wilson, and this is the Big Dog Podcast in the studio with Jonathan Mack. What's going on, Jonathan? What up? What up? Hey, so we're continuing the series where we're talking about the G code, and we've talked about gratitude. We talked about genetics, and today we're going to talk about your grind and your work, where that energy goes. Um, and the thing that's, you know, we've talked about the G code app now, you know, for several weeks. I encourage y'all to download it. Um, you know, still doing the deal. You shoot an email to big dog podcast at Josh Wilson dot dog, put G code in the subject, name and address in the body of the email. And we're going to get a copy of the G code book by my guy, Ryan Stuman sent out to you. Um, and so the grind though is very interesting because again, we've talked about gratitude, starting your day with it. We've talked about the genetics. We're paying attention to what we're eating or are we moving our body daily? Um, some sort of exercise and, and the grind, the work. It's like, all right, where are we getting all of this stuff? Not balanced together, but where are we making all these things a norm? Because a thing that you do is a normal deal every day is you go to work. That's like the thing you don't really think about for most people, right? We don't think about our gratitude. We don't think about necessarily genetics, but everybody's thinking about work just about each day because you got to go somewhere. Most people, most people got to get up and go somewhere to go to work. Mm -hmm. um, what people don't necessarily think about day in and day out and what the G code forces you to think about and prioritize is what were your wins today? So we start the day out with gratitude and we're ending the day with what were the wins? And maybe that win, you know, had nothing to do with work, but the win was that you happened to be able to work your day in such a way, control your day in such a way that you were able to make it to your kid's soccer game and you've missed the last two. That's a win today mm -hmm. because of your grind. Like you were putting in the work, you prioritized your schedule that day. And the, the big win for that day, I made it to my kid's soccer game on time, saw the whole thing, got to see the goal get scored, whatever, right? It might be a win for the day of, Hey, I have a goal of, you know, 30 sales calls I need to make, you know, by lunch every day. Today, I made 30 sales calls and I booked my biggest deal of the month. Those are wins. Yep. Right. And I think you're touching on something important because when it comes to quote unquote, the grind, it's the most concrete, like you said, everybody goes to work, but it's also the most abstract because right. when you compare yourself to somebody else, that's typically the norm. It's like, how hard am I grinding versus yep. how hard is somebody else grinding? Yep. So I think it's important and the G code does this is to really organize your wins and make them practical. Well, yeah, because, and we've talked about this in other episodes before too, you know, playing your own game, right? My wins are different than your wins. Your wins are different than mine because we're playing different games. And it doesn't mean one game is harder than the other. One game is better than the other. It's your game to play. And so what is that win for the day? Your wins on Thursdays may look different than your wins on Friday. But the point is we're starting our days off with gratitude and we're ending it with what was our win? And it might just be one, but how easy is it to default to walk in the door? Hey, babe, how was your day? Man, fuck it. It was crazy. It, you know, and, and you start jawing about all the things that drove you nuts that day. One, your partner. Your kids, they don't want to hear that mess. No, I mean, we ask, how's your day? But no one really cares to hear the griping. But how hype is it if you can condition your mind to where, how's your day? Oh, man, it was the best. I got through my calls, made the biggest deal of, of the week today. It was great. Man, think about, the, think about the tone of your house that evening, right? Think about the tone like your kids have towards you if that's what they hear. Like, holy cow. Like, dad comes home every day. Mom comes home every day. And we're like, how's the day? And they're like, they win every single day. Because no matter how poor your day was, there is a win in every day. If you can't think of a win that you have, maybe you were just on time to your job. And that's your win for the day. And timeliness is a struggle. You know, we were supposed to record at 830 today. I texted you at 8.30 on the phone with Katie in the parking lot. 
You got in here at 835. Yeah. Lighten up a little bit. Yeah, I was late, though. Be less difficult on yourself. <laughs> but I was late. I was late. And I'm not known for being late. I'm known for being late into the studio. I mean, that's that's fair. Um, but you know what I mean? They're like, what is the win? Everybody's got a win in the day. Yeah, and that goes back to how you qualify your wins. If you're expecting your win to be a massive sale or a massive victory every single time out, you're going to come away disappointed. For sure. And it can, it, like you said, it could be something as simple as showing up on time. If yeah. you win at the small things, and we've talked about this plenty of times before, if you win at the small things, the bigger things will come up. at less of a cost and yeah, everything will compound. Our sales team, and we talk about sales a lot. We talk about goals and stuff a lot on the podcast because that's a lot of our, our listeners and stuff. But, you know, with, with our sales team here at Off Leash, you know, follow up is a big deal. You know, people reach out to us because they have a need for their dog. Uh, all the proof of what we can accomplish for them is, is out there. It's online. Our reputation is out there. Um, but it's a big commitment. And that's not always made on the initial phone call or the initial email they send out. And so we follow up with them. We make sure they have all the information that they need to make the uh, appropriate decision for themselves. And a, a win for them when they are able to book a client. You know, it's because, hey, yeah, I did the work. I followed up with this person umpteen times, you know, and, and yeah, they, they finally booked. That's awesome. That's a win because we did the work to create that opportunity. Whereas if you just talk to them the first time and we never reached back out, we're not doing the work. That client probably ends up going somewhere else um, because we didn't give them what they deserve, which was the effort of taking the time to reach out and follow up. That's yeah. a win. And I think that's super insightful because you're not only saying that a win can be the end result, but a win can be the effort that you put in the process um, in, in the process, because you might not have put that effort in Yep. at a different time. Yep. And that's it. And, and this is the same thing. Like wh what was your win today? It, a lot of people will center this around their work, but it literally can apply to anything. And again, it comes back to that little life hack starting that day with gratitude, getting that mindset right. And you're also ending your day, you know, with a, a sense of gratitude, you know, where did I win today? And it's this shift. And it's when you're doing these subtle things day in and day out, it changes how you think it changes how you view yourself. It changes how you view the people that are around you. It changes your priorities and it changes all these things in the best way possible. So. You know, we've talked about gratitude. We've talked about genetics. Today we talked about that grind and ending your day with, with what you're thankful for. What, not what you're thankful for, I'm sorry, but what was that win? It's a big deal. It's these little simple practices that take really maybe 90 seconds of your entire day to jot down and focus on. Yeah, and these things will eventually become habit. That's something 100%. that I have a hard time realizing is that when I get like into working out for like a week yeah. and I feel sore, it's like, ah. Just keep going, and then after two, three weeks, you have a habit formed, and then you need to do that it's thing. There. So waking up with gratitude, do that for two, three weeks, and hopefully it becomes a habit. It's the norm. changes it all. All right, so next week uh, we'll be talking about group the next time we're together. That's a fun one, too, because who you surround yourself with is very, very important. Yes, sir. See you all next week. Thanks, Jonathan.